using Open Interpreter to edit videos. So the other day I uploaded uh, this video about Open Interpreter and it got a um, quite significant amount of views relatively to the other videos in my channel. And you guys also provided great and valuable feedback, which I really appreciate. Um, and this specific feedback from uh, Juan Sebastian Suarez Valencia uh, was very well and very constructive. <laughs> I already feel I'm about to read it and I already understand what he was referring to. So one of the things that he mentioned, so he suggested that I could benefit from using this script to edit a little bit of my videos to remove some hesitation and pauses. And like a, uh, 20 seconds ago, I had a hesitation, which I could have probably removed using this script. For those of you who don't know, this script is a great video editing tool that kind of flips the way we edit videos today. So instead of having like a timeline, let me show you, uh, in CapCut or any other tool, we have a timeline at the bottom and we can just edit the videos based on like the, the video segments, for example. So this script did something completely like you drag here video and audio segments and then you can move them around, trim them, etc. This script did something that is amazing and really flips or disrupts the way people use video editing. So first of all, whenever you upload a video, it tra transcribes the whole video and then you edit the video as if you're editing a document. So basically you have a transcript of your video. It looks like a Word document. And if you want to remove segments, you just remove the text. So this is very cool. Um, but although I used it for my podcast, I wanted to test if I can automate this because still using this script um, for editing takes a lot of time. I do have virtual assistants and editors that can assist me, but as you guys already know, I like automating stuff and I prefer being uh, as lean as possible, uh, relative, uh, literally, <laughs> if possible, also with regards to weight and also with regards to, to team size. So what I did today and I wanted to share with you is how I use um, programmatic video editing in order to edit my videos. I'm not sure that I will make it, uh, that I will use this editing from now on on all of my videos, but I just wanted to show you this use case because I think it's very valuable and many people are not aware of all the Python libraries that allow you to edit videos and allow you to edit audios. So this was a pretty long uh, introduction. Let me show you what I did. So basically I used OBS, which is my the tool that I'm using to record um, these videos. And I added a lot of pauses to the video. Let's see if we can view it. And it was 59 seconds, 46, sorry. This is a test to see if I can edit videos programmatically without using any software such as this script or CapCut. I don't enjoy doing things manually. Therefore, everything should be automated and Open Interpreter really allows doing so. Yes, so I hope this wasn't too long, but I wanted to show you this is the original file with a lot of hesitations and pauses. It was 47 seconds long. And what I did, I went to Open Interpreter and I asked it to trim the video um, based on silences. And this is the code. So can you do this again? The original file is here. Let's copy this original file. So you saw, you guys saw that the original file is 47 seconds long and create a new file with the new file, trim 
all silences that are longer than one second and create a new video called dreamed live YouTube okay so basically I gave it the, the prompt and as you can see it's, it is going to write the Python code it loads it loads the this file that I gave him as the path it converts the audio track to a format that PyDub, which is the li Python library, can work with. It basically writes the whole code, and in a moment it's going to run the code, and it's going to spit out the output. And imagine that Obviously using this script might make sense if you have only one video, but if you need to trim silences programmatically, let's say you have 20 Zoom meetings that you want to summarize uh, or you want to re-edit and there are parts of that of people um, went to the bathroom so the conversation was paused, for example. So you can give the whole directory to open interpreter and it's going to do the trimming for you. This is just a, a one use case. The other use case, let's say you have a ton of sales call and you want to analyze the sales call. So the new video file has been successfully created with the audio track where silences longer than one second have been removed. The video has also been trimmed to align with the audio. The new video file is saved at the location. This is the location. Please check the new video. Now let's see the new video. Trimmed live YouTube. So it's supposed to be shorter. So you see it's 25 seconds in opposing to 46. This is a test to see if I can edit videos programmatically without using any software such as this script or Kafka. I don't enjoy doing things manually. Therefore, everything should be automated and open interpreter really allows doing so. Okay, so you saw uh, it trimmed all the silences. I had way longer silences. The original video was 20 seconds longer. Um, obviously, there is room for adjustment. We can adjust the, the silence threshold. So say we want to um, make sure we don't have any any parts of the world um, trimmed so we can adjust the silence ratio the silence threshold so only from a certain uh, amount of decibels you ask the python script to um, cut the audio and you can also say that you want um, to cut only segments only segments of silence that are longer than five seconds or, or ten seconds so um, in this case, it doesn't cut the small, the short uh, periods of silence in between words. So there is a lot of room and flexibility using these, these uh, scripts. You just need to know the abilities. But um, this is so powerful and awesome because you can also use Open Interpreter to do so. So let's ask Open Interpreter, for example, what other adjustments can we make in order to make this uh, new video more precise? What other adjustments? In the script can be done in order for us to have a more precise I don't even care about the, the spelling mistake streaming process there are several adjustments you can make to do to the script to fine-tune the trimming process silence threshold is the parameter in the silence uh, in the detect non-silence function determines what volume level is considered to be silence. You can adjust this value to be more or less sensitive to quiet sounds. Minimum silence length, like I said, uh, determines the minimum length of silence that will be trimmed. You can adjust this value to trim shorter or longer periods of silence. Audio format, the video codec, frame rate, these stuff are, are a bit more technical, not so crucial in this case. The most important um, 
elements or the two that I mentioned before. So now let's think about the let's think about the use cases. So we can do this for a lot of a lot of things like as like I mentioned, Zoom calls, sales call, editing videos. The sky is endless. The options are limitless. I, I don't know why I use this. Uh, <laughs> the sky is endless. Uh, <laughs> it's because I'm I'm live, so I'm some sometimes I'm just from uh, spitting out uh, nonsense. But anyway, I hope that you guys are enjoying it. So back to what I was saying. The abilities and the capabilities of of Python and the Python libraries are endless. And I'm going to start uploading more videos about how we can leverage Python libraries to do object detection and edit videos programmatically using Python programmatically for business use cases. Uh, it is something that I considered as overlooked because most of the people that know Python and know how to uh, build and create code I wouldn't say most, but some of them overlook the the business use cases because they enjoy building, which is fine. But for me, I'm coming from a background of, 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 of selling and marketing, and I just want to use and leverage these automations in order to streamline my process, um, have less friction, waste less money on outsourcing, and waste less time on doing stuff that I don't enjoy. So this is like my goal and my motivation for using Open Interpreter and all the other agents and, and using code in general. I think that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and obviously subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have any questions regarding what we covered today or any constructive feedback, I'm always happy to hear. Please leave them in the comment section. And until next time, keep on automating.